So for today's video, I have a topic in mind that has to do with his overall gameplay. Yoshimitsu has a lot of crutch moves that he can use, like in the fact of Flash. People really hate this particular move because the fact is, it's 6 frames on startup, in no sword stance, it's 8 frames, but it has more range, it can actually hit the opponent from close up. Then in the fact that he has a lot of Oki setups that he can perform at the wall, especially when it comes to the wall. He has his unblockable combos that he can go with with Samurai Cutter, he has also his Poison Breath that he can use. But the one thing that he is lacking, and to be honest, if they were to nerf these things, to nerf Flash significantly, I would not mind it if they were to actually properly give him better tools to mix up with in stances. Because he's a stance heavy character, but they seem to prevacate this idea that he's more of a defensive character. With the whole fact that a Flash and his back 3 and back 4 as the tools to try to evade attacks or to block attacks or to use them as parries and whatnot, right? So. For the point that I'm trying to get at is that Yoshimitsu has a very extensive uh, stance mix ups with all of his stances, but all of them are not really useful depending on the circumstance. Like, in my opinion, he has moves like this back 2 that goes into Kensho, he has 2 2 into no sword stance, he has 2 2 into Kensho if he wants to go into Kensho by pressing 1 plus 2, he has his wall standing 2 1 that goes into Dragonfly stance. He has so many different moves and strings that go into stances, but the one stance in his gameplay that has barely any love is his flea stance. Now he does have two particular moves he can go into that allows him access to flea. For example, doing up 4, 3 plus 4 into down 1 plus 2 goes into flea. And if you get the hit off of the opponent and you wait a little bit, you actually get a combo. Same thing if you were to go into your forward 3 plus 4 while you're in your regular stance. Goes into Flea, go into 1 plus 2 for a combo as well. But the problem is, is that these moves are very unsafe when being used. So if you do stuff like this to catch your opponent off guard, there's a chance that you'll get interrupted. Here for example, if I do this, it's minus 13. And if I go into my 4, 3 plus 4, again, it's minus 13. Now, it's not like I want him to have like bullshit moves that just has a lot of plus frames with this kit. Again, if they were to nerf the other the parts of his gameplay, like Flash, they nerf it to where, let's say instead the move is minus uh, 18 on block, so that way players have more time to actually launch the Yoshimitsu once they end up blocking this move, which I'm having trouble <laughs> making the Yoshimitsu block it, at minus 15, if it was minus 18, I guess players would have better time, though of course there's some characters that will still struggle, like Kazuya, Steve, they'll have a, a lot of trouble trying to launch the Yoshimitsu from using, using Flash. And the other way that I can think of were is to make it so that the flash is not 6 frames on startup and instead make it so that it's on 10 frames. But that's a big, big nerf to flash altogether. And a lot of Yoshimitsu's will not like that. Even I won't like that. But if it's something, again, the point of the video, if they were to give him more access to stance mix ups and more setup gameplay and then reduce his overall damage, I think that Yoshimitsu will be, will be a very fun character. Because again, the one stance that is very underutilized at times is Flea. Flea is a very goaded stance, but it's very underestimated. In some cases, it's barely ever used in gameplay because of how vulnerable the stance is. It's very easy to simply just jab the Yoshimitsu out of the stance or even go for a heat burst or a power crush to catch the Yoshimitsu off guard when he's in the stance. But he has a lot of evasive moves he can use in the stance as well. So he has moves like, let's say, his 3 and 4. They act similarly to his back 3 and back 4 while he's standing. He also has down. While pressing down, he can do this funny little thrust. This has implications similar to AOP with, for Xiao Yu, but not exactly. It's not as strong as AOP. It has the ability to high crush and mid crush some moves. Very, like, exceptional, like, certain exceptions when it comes to certain mids, can actually be dodged. Then you have the fact that the one thing that players hate when they come across a Yoshimitsu player that likes to be funny is when they're in flea stance, they love to do this because for one, the move has a lot of air time and it can high crush and even mid crush moves and it's an unblockable. So if they get hit by this move, then, well then they'll get hit by it. And the other implication of flea is that if they go for lows, they will get hit by the sword. And not only that, 
you have tons of moves in Flea Sands that are actually very evasive as well, like your 1 plus 2, very evasive, it has high crush. It is a high though, so you can duck it. Then you have your Flea 2, another high crush move you can use against the opponent, hits low. You also have forward into 4, that also has a bit of high crush. And then your infamous Kangaroo Kick also has high crush. The few moves that you don't have any high crush or any particular implications that has high crush is moves like let's say forward 3, is a hit grab. And then you have forward 2 that is a high move that puts him into Dragonfly Stance. So you can kind of option select a lot of Yoshimitsu's moves in Flea, but it still has a lot of implications because of how evasive it can work against the opponent. So the point is, again, I want him to have more strings that can cancel into Flea. Moves that allow him access to using stuff like this so he can go for crazy mix-ups, a lot of fun interactions so he can go against the opponent. I messed up the combo right there, I'm silly. A lot of things you can do with Flea Stance that actually is very decent and has implications, but we don't really use it often because we're scared that we might get interrupted when using it. But there is one game where Yoshimitsu is godly, where he's actually considered to be one of the strongest characters in that fighting game, and that game in particular is So Calibur 6. Yoshimitsu in this game has a lot of tools that he can use, and since the movement in this game is much faster than it is in Tekken uh, 8, for one, and there's a lot of mix-up potential you can do with Yoshimitsu in this game, he's very strong in this game in comparison to, let's say, even a game like Tekken 8, in my opinion. But the whole point of the showcase of Soul Calibur 6, Yoshimitsu, is this one move that he has. Forward 1 plus 2, though in this game they don't use the same notations in Tekken, Instead, it's forward uh, A plus B, or 6 A plus B. This move alone puts him into Flea Stance. And he has the same implications of the same move. But, in the same time, it has mix-up potential, because if the, let's say if the opponent decides to block, or decides to go for, let's say, a GI, which is this, basically, they can go into, let's say, forward 1 plus 2, into 1 plus 2 again, for a break. Now, imagine if Yoshimitsu in Tekken 8 were to have the same particular moveset, where he's able to then access a move immediately, and mind you, this is actually plus on block. So if you use this move, you can actually go for stuff like this, you know, similar to what in Tekken 8, you can do the same thing, launch the opponent and do whatever. But if they, let's say, disrespect the overall frames, and they want to go for something like, let's say, oh, I'm going to do this, they block it, I'm going to go for that immediately to launch, they want to go for a GI to parry, I'll just do this and catch him off guard, right? Now the point is, is that while you're doing all this crazy stuff in the game with Yoshimitsu and Soul 6, you can go into different things that you want to go for. For example, again, you can go into your flea and do the jumps and do everything else. You can go into your attacks like this. All this crazy stuff you can do that's so fun in Soul Calibur 6. But in the case of a game like in Tekken 8, where Yoshimitsu doesn't have anything else besides up forward 3 plus 4 that goes into down 1 plus 2 for Flea, or his forward 3 plus 4 to go into Flea. But again, the whole point is this move alone. That allows him access into Flea. And it's fast, and it's actually safe on block. And giving him other moves alongside it to then encompass the parts of his flea while using the move that if the opponent decides to let's say move away in this case in Tekken 8 if they were to keep this move maybe it's sidesteppable if he were to decide to go for let's say the secondary hit from this move but if they decide to attack him it grants him let's say a counter hit launch stuff like that would be pretty cool for Yoshimitsu it's funny that in this game flash still acts like an attack and it also has the same implications but in this game it actually is a parry you see the top left corner says guard impact? This actually acts as a parry. And a cool thing is, is that if you do apply the parry from his spectral blade or the flash, as we all know how it's called, this happens. Giving him a launch. So it's pretty cool. But again, this is Soul Calibur and defense in this game is a prevaricated because you have a dedicated button for the two block with your uh, your X button or your A button, uh, I think it's G in this case, is G and or pressing your 3 in this case is your block button essentially. But you can then guard impact any move that you want to guard impact or to parry in the game. So that's all I really wanted to showcase with Yoshimitsu. I just wanted to see that if, how, what you guys would think essentially, would, what you would give with Yoshimitsu 
to give him more implications, to give him more strategies, more mix-up potential with his stances. Because, yeah, I get it, people don't like Yoshi right now, people really don't like him because of Flash. But imagine if they were to reduce the, the effects of Flash and other moves, and then give him some other useful new moves into his kit for more crazy stuff that he can pull off in stances. It'll be very fun to see. So, that's all. If you guys like what you watch, give the video a like or a dislike if you want to. Subscribe to see more of my shit. And yeah, stay tuned, stay safe.